So I hope that you have seen the 10 questions. Uh, we are preparing for Keltron engineer examination. So the questions were from network theory or network analysis subject. Okay, so mainly the questions were from resonance, uh, nodal analysis, all those areas. Okay, so let us see the solutions one by one. The first question is, the circuit is said to be in resonance if the current is dash with the applied voltage. Okay, so we have actually done a separate video on uh, resonance in series RLC circuit that has been given the network analysis playlist. Okay, so if you want to have a detailed uh, explanation about what is resonance, what are the various conditions in resonance, what is uh, quality factor, resonance peak, everything, please do refer that video. Okay, I'll be sharing the link in description also. Okay, so here the question is regarding the current uh, in resonance condition and what is its relation with the applied voltage. Now consider that you have a series RLC circuit, means you have a resistance, you have an inductance and then a capacitance. Also you apply a voltage here, this is the applied voltage V, that is a little b Vs. So this is resistance, inductance and capacitance. So this is a series RLC circuit. Now when this circuit is in resonance, the current will be in phase with the applied voltage. There is a current in this circuit, let it be I. That current will be in phase with the applied voltage. Okay, so the options given are in phase, out of phase, 45 degree out of phase, 90 degree out of phase. Correct answer is option A. Okay. Next question. That is question number 2. We will be keeping this figure as it is. Okay. Second question. At resonant frequency, the voltage across a capacitor is dash the voltage across the inductor. So what will happen is that uh, during the resonance condition, the current will be at its peak value and also the voltage across the inductance and the capacitance will be exactly the same. Okay, so at resonance, voltage across a capacitor will be equal to the voltage across the inductor. Okay, so correct answer is option D equal to and also during the resonance condition, the impedance of the circuit will be purely resistive. That is the impedance Z will be equal to R. Okay. This thing also you should be knowing. So for the second question, correct answer is D. That is the voltage across inductance and capacitance will be equal. Okay. Next question. Third question. Third question is, the expression of resonant frequency in a series resonant circuit is dash. So the question is actually asking regarding the expression for resonant frequency. Okay, so there are two frequencies. There is angular frequency and normal frequency in hertz. So if it is angular frequency, then the expression is omega equal to 1 by square root of LC. Okay, now if it is in terms of normal frequency in hertz, then it is 1 by 2 pi square root of LC. This is the equation or expression for finding the resonant frequency. Okay, this equation is very, very important. 1 by, either you can use 1 by square root of LC or 1 by 2 pi square root of LC. Okay, here the option given, correct is option D. Okay, all the terms are actually given in the F values, that is normal frequency. So, correct answer is option D. Next question. Next question is, what is the value of, that is the fourth question. Okay. What is the value of impedance at resonance in the circuit shown below? Okay. So, it is given that uh, the circuit is at resonance and also the values is given. R value is equal to 50 ohm. L value is given as J25 and C value is given as minus JXC. Okay, value of uh, capacitive reactance is not given. So the question is to find the value of impedance of this given circuit in the resonance condition. Okay, so just now I have explained that during the resonance conditions, the impedance of this total circuit Z will be equal to is purely resistive so it will be equal to 50 so z is equal to r is equal to 50 ohms will be the value okay 
So correct answer coming is option B. Okay. So that is the fourth question. Now fifth question. It's not from resonance. So we will remove this. Fifth question is. If there are 8 nodes in a network, we can get dash number of equations in the nodal analysis. So, if a network is having n nodes, then you can have n minus 1 number of equations. That is the concept. So, if n is equal to 8, consider that your network given is having 8 nodes, then number of equations is equal to n minus 1 that is equal to 8 minus 1 which is 7 okay correct answer is option c okay next question the sixth question consider the circuit shown below find the equivalent Thevenin's voltage between node A and B. Okay, first I'll draw the circuit. Then we'll find the Thevenin's voltage. Okay, so there is a resistance 2. There is a voltage source here, 1, which is of value 10 volt. Then there is a resistance parallel to the load. There are two points A and B. There is a load 24. Okay. So, this is the circuit given. You need to find the Thevenin's equivalent voltage between A and B. Now, how to find the Thevenin's equivalent voltage? So, in order to find the Thevenin's equivalent voltage, we have to first remove the, the load resistance. So, this is the load resistance and uh, we have to first remove it and we have to create an open circuit. And that open circuit voltage coming across these two points A, B is the Thevenin's equivalent voltage. Okay. So, first I am going to open circuit the load. So, you will get a circuit diagram like this. Now, you need to find the what uh, voltage coming across AB. Okay. So, now there is only two resistors and one voltage source. So, just apply voltage division rule and you will be finding the value of voltage across AB. So, VAB is equal to 10 volt. 10 into uh, the opposite value is 12. 12 by total resistance 12 plus 2 that is 40 okay so this is how you have to solve for vab 10 into 12 by total which is 40 okay on solving you'll be getting 8.57 volt okay so this is the thevenin's equivalent voltage so from the given options the correct answer coming is 8.5 okay you have it 8.57 exactly but from the options it is 8.5 which is option b okay Next question. The seventh question. Kirchhoff current law is based on the law of conservation of dash. Okay. So if you don't know what is Kirchhoff's current law, let me just explain as a brief. So consider that this is a note. Let it be A. There are three currents I1, I2 and I3. Let be one more current. Okay. Which is I4. Okay. So here if you take this node A, there are some currents which is coming to the node and some currents which are leaving the node. Specifically speaking, it is I1 and I2 which is coming towards the node and I3 and I4 is going away from the node. Right. So, according to the Kirchhoff current law, it is stating that the algebraic sum of the currents at the node A will be equal to 0. That means the sum of currents coming to the node will be equal to the sum of currents leaving the node. And in terms of an expression, you can write it as I1 plus I2 is equal to I3 plus I4. Why? Because I1 and I2 are coming uh, currents and I3 and I4 are leaving currents. So, sum of coming currents will be equal to the sum of currents leaving the node. So, this is the very simple explanation of Kirchhoff current law or it is called as KCL. Okay. So, here you are 
discussing regarding the flow of current uh, or the current uh, hap the flow happening at a node right we know that current is nothing but the flow of charge right so this law that is kcl is nothing but the law of conservation of charge that is option d charge is the correct answer okay next question the eighth question eighth question is the current law represents a mathematical statement of fact that voltage cannot accumulate at node b charge cannot accumulate at node c charge at a node is infinite d none of the mentioned correct answer uh, is just now we have explained that this kcl is actually describing regarding the flow of current flow of current or it is actually the flow of charges so this is stating that when uh, the algebraic sum of currents that are coming to the node is equal to the sum of currents leaving the node means the current cannot be or the charge cannot be accumulated at a node that is the uh, meaning of this law okay correct answer is b it that is it states that the charge cannot accumulate at a particular node it has to flow it will be the sum of entering charges will be equal to the sum of leaving charges so it cannot get stagnant at a particular node it has to flow okay so that is the meaning of this law which is option b okay next question that is a ninth question ninth question is a graph is said to be directed graph if dash of the graph has directions okay so we have done uh, videos on uh, the network uh, graph concept network graph topology uh, tie set matrix cut sets everything so in that area we are actually uh, discussing regarding the graph rep graphical representation of networks so if a network is been given to you you can represent that network in a graphical format so what will uh, you do is you will represent the nodes and the branches will be represented as the branches in this tree okay so this is a network graph structure not a tree it is a graph okay so this is a graph and a, a graph is said to be directed if all the branches in this graph is directed okay directed means which is having arrows okay consider that this is the arrow for this branch this branch this branch and so here all the branches are having arrows means all the branches are directed so this graph is called a directed graph if at least one branch is not having direction means it is not said to be a directed graph okay so a graph is said to be directed graph if every branch that is all branches of the graph should have directions okay correct answer is option d okay so if you are interested in studying this videos on network graph and network topologies please do watch those videos which are been given in the network analysis playlist okay next question so the 10th question and the last question that we are going to discuss in this video if the voltage current characteristics of uh, sorry if the voltage current characteristics is a straight line through the origin then the element is said to be dash okay so if the voltage current characteristics is straight line through the origin the element is said to be a linear element okay so let this be the current axis this be the voltage axis and if you are drawing the voltage current relation you will get a straight line which is passing through the origin so this will be a linear element okay so the other options given are non linear unilateral bilateral no these are not uh, unilateral bilateral or non linear it is linear why because there is a linear relationship between the current and voltage so this element will be a linear element okay correct answer is option a okay so these are the 10 questions which i have included in this video i'm really hoping that the questions were useful 
mostly we have uh, covered questions from resonance uh, in series rlc circuit uh, so it is again an important topic and also you should be covering all the basic concepts of uh, network analysis and network theory kcl kvl mesh analysis everything is important okay and also the basic theorems you should be at least knowing uh, or at least try to uh, know the definition okay so that's all for this video i'm really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up also share with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching